right hello youtube another day another video this is another job od83 as you can see it's a 24 hour delivery to me and i will do it and send it back within 20 um, my 24 hours so it's quite a quick turnaround on these jobs so this is what we have today so right this is a instrument cluster for an ODA3 and that's the part number 8VO that is the part number so we will take it out of this wrapper test it if it's firing up okay and then step by step we strip it open and get into the reading and making the key That's the cluster. Guys, this is the cluster we are working with today. Right. Right, so the first thing is just to test it. See if it's in good working order. And there we go. It does fire up. It is in good working order. Right, so from here, we will open and get to, to work. Right, so I'll try to make two videos, two quick videos out of this cluster. One with the hotel and the other with the um, X-Horse, the Key Tool Plus. So at times I may delay putting out videos, uh, but there's always videos waiting to come out from time to time so this is how to open i mean i've done videos before showing how to open these clusters so this one is one two three this one is seven to come up so this is a MQB 48 cluster still MQB 48 very kind of strange uh, part number Strange part number um, 8V092096G. Zero 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 so that's the part number once again 8V092096G. Zero 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 so you undo these clips on the side, undo that one, and you undo that side too, and this will lift off. Okay, this will just lift off okay so we have the face we put that 
one side the bottom comes off so that leaves us with this side right and then flip it over this is the area we are mainly interested with the part number the actual part number that enables us to move along with this job is here on this chip right so for this part number we need to use our Using our microscope. Okay, so that's our part number right there, and then with this part number now we pull out our programmer and we start the soldering or whatever process. If it's adapters, if it's soldering, then we move it along from there. We need to identify our instrument cluster type and then we can align our adapters. So So it takes time to to load right so this one is what we're working with same exact as this one quite identical they are identical so now we grab the um, adapters and find the right adapter for the job right so i've got the whole box i have made a video of unboxing this and how to use so it's a whole box with 13 adapters and the one we are looking for The one we are using is this one, the 80. Right, so that's the adapter that we're working with, the P80, P80. That's the one we're working with. So now we align and do the read. So I'd encourage you guys as you move along into those who are starting to buy as much equipment, very expensive trade but well worth it. It's expensive to buy the equipment, 
but if you get a good client base and you charge your customers well um, you won't regret a lot of this will pay back whatever you put out Power cable has to go in right. Start the read. So it says trying try to crack and it's just gonna count down. count up to 180. Stuck on 45. Oh, starting to read. So these are our read guys. Right. No savers. Alright, so now we want to obtain EMA data and it's that one, we okay.
calculating EMO data. Right, EMO data read successfully. Click OK to start saving. So it can be used to generate dealer keys and key learning. Okay. Save it here. Right, so that's our EMO data saved. Okay.